we've been we've been covering the beach patrol races now for over four years and five years, and it's been a great a great uh, great relationship we have with all the the chiefs and all the guys and gals on the beach patrol. It's it, you know these races are exclusive to South Jersey. Yeah, it's awesome, man. It's uh, you know I was a part of it for 21 years, so. Uh, so we spoke it's... with Longport so far, Margate. We went to we went to Avalon. We spoke with uh, Margate. Um, now we're gonna go to Brigantine. Oh. Who are we? Oh, we went to Wildwood last Wildwood. week. Yeah. This week we're gonna go to Brigantine. Uh, so let's go to the Beach Patrol report, brought to you by the Salty Sea Shop, specializing in handmade life-size beach badges plus other badge signs and items. They make all-weather life-size badges featuring any town, which is a perfect item for your house, backyard, bar, or any bar or restaurant. Contact the Salty Sea Shop and check out the pictures of their work on Facebook. Search the Salty Sea Shop. So let's go to the Barb's Harley Davidson Sports Hotline and welcome in the chief of the Brigantine Beach Patrol, Kip Emick. Good morning, Kip. Hey, man, good morning. How's it going? Kip, uh, we, we are super excited to have the races back this year. Absolutely, man. We're looking forward to ours. You know, it's going to be our 56th annual Chief Coon Lifeguard Invitational, and we're looking forward to it. Can't wait. And that will be what, on July 12th? Is that on July 12th, he said? Uh, July 8th. See, July I, have 8th. A, I have a schedule here, and all the schedule, all the dates are wrong, so I'm going to have to uh, pull them up. <laughs> yeah, Dan, Dan Adams sent it to me, and it, uh, it's all, all the dates are wrong because uh, the Dutch Hoffman's are on the 30th, and on here it says the 25th. All right, so you guys are on July 8th. Yes, July eighth. Yep. You uh, that that race is one of the uh, well, actually one of the beginning races. I guess the Longport Memorials, uh, and then and then the uh, women Longport Women's Race, and then you guys. Yep, that's it. That's it. Yep. Yeah, we set up our races so a little bit shorter, um, little you know warm ups for the South Jersey races. So our races are a little bit shorter, um, very very crowd friendly. So hopefully a lot of people will be here. You know everybody can see each race from from the beach. You know out out and in more uh, rescue style racing for for us now uh kip you guys uh, what we do before we get, actually get into the racing we want to make sure that everyone knows that in bring a team to swim in front of a lifeguard you guys not only i mean racing is very important but your number one job let's face it is protecting the bathers yes absolutely yeah we have uh we have 20, 24 stations open right now you know we have four miles of beach here in bring a team plus a mile of our cove area and yeah we're, we're uh, almost full Full staff. As soon as our rookies are trained and ready to go, yeah, by Fourth of July weekend, we're going to have full staff, 110 lifeguards here in Brigantine. Wow, that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big staff. Now, Kip, how how do you guys determine who's going to represent uh, Brigantine in, in all the in all the races? Uh, you know, the traveling races. Yeah, so we'll have in-house racing um, beginning of the year, a little bit shorter. Um, you know, we've tried to get our paddle team, our our uh, boat team, our swim team. And then put together, you know, some races in-house, get those guys and girls um, out to some of the beginning races. And then we'll have another round of row-offs, swim-offs, and paddle-offs um, towards the middle of the year to finish out what we're doing with the Hoffmans, the Margates, and the Jerseys. Hey, Kip, it's Scott McKay here. Um, yeah. You know, last year, obviously, we had the pandemic last year, and everybody's kind of been cooped up. Uh, for a while and looking to get out and probably let loose a little bit. Are, are you guys gearing anything up different for this really busy season that you're coming up? Uh, yeah, we, we did. We, we opened up a couple more beaches. Um, beaches are definitely crowded. Uh, there's a lot of people here. I think people are out and about more than I've ever seen. Um, and last year was very busy too. You know, here in Brigantine, we put lifeguards in the water almost a thousand times to help people back in. And uh, that's the most we've ever had. Almost We almost doubled what we had in uh, 2019. So we're ready for this year. We opened up, like I said, a few extra beaches. Um, our city council was able to give us a couple more lifeguards this year to open up some more area for people to be spread out and, um, yeah, kind of keep keep doing what we're doing here and spread people out and give them a lot of room to, to swim. So. Yeah, and listen, I haven't been around on the beaches, you know, working there for these over 20 years, but you guys, I saw something, you guys have a dispatcher for, like, water rescues and medical emergencies. That's a yeah. little, I don't know if anybody else is doing that. How much has that helped out? Uh, it's, it's amazing. Um, yeah, I have a full-time dispatcher. He runs basically like air traffic control. We have radios at every beach. Um, he is the one who is, you know, just running the show. I mean, he, he, it's a 20, it's a 24 year lifeguard. Um, he took this position a couple of years ago and it's just taken, you know, taken, taken us to a new level. Um, professionalism wise and just, you know, 
calling for backup. Every, everything that we're doing right now is run through one person here at our dispatcher. And, yeah, like I said, it's a, he does a great job. Amazing. We're talking with Captain, Captain Kip Emick from the Brigantine Beach Patrol. And, uh, Kip, uh, you're, you're the northernmost beach in the, out of, the, of all the uh, beaches uh, participating in the, in the, uh, jer- in the races. Uh, and uh, the competition, we, we talked to all the chiefs and the captains that we get a chance to interview before we actually start covering the races. But the competition that, that, is, that is among these guys and gals is second to none. These are top-notch athletes, not just, not just uh, people guarding you know, pr- protected bathers, but they're also top-notch athletes. Absolutely, yeah. We have, uh, we have a slew of Division One athletes, Division Two, even Division uh, Three. We have you know, cross-country runners. We have um, track stars. We have swimmers, um, you know, rowers. Um, my lieutenant, Paul Savell, senior lieutenant, is the Drexel crew coach. So we have, yeah, we have a, uh, a lot of athletes out there. Uh, it, it's an athletic job. You know, it's a tryout to make the position. You know, each person is trying out against each other. And here in Brigantine, we're taking the top people we can get. Now you guys got a pr- pretty formidable crew. I don't know if they're back, but maybe you can shed a little light. Ron D. Felice has been... Uh, been one of your better rowers. He, he, he's uh, your singles guy. Is he going to be representing Brigantine this year? You think? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ronnie's been, <laughs> Ronnie's been in the water. You know, been, he's been rowing um, pretty much every morning for the last few weeks now. Um, so he's ready to go. We have um, Matt Dolan and Jack Savelle. They've been down there training. Uh, my lieutenant Rob Canavan has been down there coaching those guys for the, the past few weeks. So yeah, they're getting ready to go. It's looking, it's looking. And of good. course, your swimmer is Brendan Finnegan. Is he back? So no, he's not back. Um, who was Andy your who, who was your swimmer three years ago? You had a really, three or four years ago. You had a really good swimmer. I forget. Uh, that was um, Brandon McKenzie. Brandon McKenzie, yeah, yes, he was a South Jersey champion. Yes, and, um, and then Finnegan, I think, was second last year, in, or two years ago. But he he moved on. Um, now we have a, with swimmer Andy Thomas. Um, Andy swam for me in high school, um, and he's looking real good. He had a great season uh, up at Bloomsburg this year. Um, actually, my son's another one um, who swam at Bloomsburg with him, so those guys are ready to go. Well, and those we'll swimmers got the work cut out for him with that Joey Tepper in Longport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a tough one to overtake, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. You know, with Scotty, I was on the Longport Beach Patrol back in the day. Scotty was on Ocean City. We've seen a lot of great swimmers over the years, but I don't know, Kip. Have you seen, the, I mean, the, the slight build and how well, how fa- this, this Joey Tepper is phenomenal. He is phenomenal. He, he, is, he is a true ocean swimmer. He is, I have, I'm a swim coach, and if you watch Joey swim in the, in the ocean, it is, it is different. He, just, he moves with the ocean, and he just has a talent that I haven't seen in a long time. One of the best I've ever seen. Uh, Kip, Scotty McKay will be covering. We've we actually been invited to do the Dutch Hoffmans this year live on 97.3 ESPN. We're going to be doing the Margates and, of course, the South Jersey Lifeguard Champions in Longport. We're really looking forward to it, but – what we really love about the races and bringing them to the people that can't actually make it, but the crowds that you guys draw are unbelievable. Yeah, there's a definitely a tradition in South Jersey of racing and, you know, bringing people together um, and old lifeguards and people on the beaches just watching these guys and girls compete. It's just, it's a showcase. I mean, these, these kids are athletes and, you know, they, it's, it's pretty amazing what, what they can do, you know, between the boats, you know, you're looking at a 350 pound boat and, you know, Paddle boards, the swimming part of it, you know, in the ocean, the waves, the weather, it's, it's amazing. Um, and like I said, we, we hire athletes. It's a, it's a great job, but um, it's a demanding job. You know, it's very really important that these guys and girls know that they're taking on a serious uh, position and they have a serious job to do. So, you know, training, training is number one. And, you know, the racing is just part of the training. You know, it just gives us an outlet to show, showcase what we're doing. So it's, it's, it's been great. It's, South Jersey has a great tradition. Yeah. Hey, Kip, you've been around for a long time um, yes. on the beaches, and you, you've seen, um, like, the generation today, how has that affected the way you run the patrol? I mean, you've got social media, you've got cameras, video. I know Billy was glad that they didn't have cameras and video <laughs> back in the day when he was on the patrol. So how, how has that changed the way you do things today? You know, I just, it's, it's, it's a matter of teaching the to younger guards that it's a professional job and to take it professionally. You know, and be really, you know, cautious about the social media part of it and, and be aware of people, you know, watching you, looking at you and, you know, expecting you to be, be, a, be a professional. And it's, it's not easy. We're talking about 16, 17-year-old kids um, yeah. and taking on a giant responsibility, um, you know. So really it's come down to training. Training is, is more efficient now, and we try to make that training effective 
so that the guards understand, you know, the importance of this job. Right now, you know, Ronnie DeFelice and Michael Brooks, some of my best uh, lifeguards, are handling the rookie training right now. We'll do 40 hours uh, minimum. We're, we're probably pushing it to 48 this year. And just teaching these, these young men and women, you know, how to be a professional and, and learn about their first, first-time job, you know. This is the first job for almost all these kids. So just teaching them from the beginning is, is really important, and we put a lot of emphasis in that training. You know, that, that 48 hours that we're doing here in Brigantine is, is very important. You know, learning about the job, learning how to have a job, being on time, you know, being right. – it's just doing all the little things – that make these kids better adults, and that's really what we're trying to do. Well, Kip, uh, Captain Kip, I, I am so excited that racing's back this year. We look forward to having a great summer in Brigantine, and uh, thank you so much for yep, taking time. You. I know you're working today, but giving us a few minutes to uh, be with us on the Beach Patrol Report. Yeah, thank, thank you guys for getting the word out. And uh, yep, like you said, swim in front of the lifeguards, and you know, be safe out there. All right, there he is, Captain good. Kip Emick from the Brigantine Beach Patrol on the Barb Charlie Davidson Sports Hotline. The Beach Patrol Report is brought to you by the Salty Sea Shop, specializing in handmade, life-size beach badges, plus other badge signs and items. They make all-weather, life-size beach badges featuring any town, which is a perfect item for your house, backyard bar, or any bar or restaurant. Contact the Salty Sea Shop and check out the pictures on, of their work on Facebook, Search Salty Sea Shop.